Hey, from Zinlunch Trey here, and welcome to World of Warships, back to our new player guide, part 18, uh, where we have been at the Axis uh, level 12, but today, in this video, we're about to unlock Axis level 13, being uh, unlocking access to uh, our inventory after we play one more battle. Uh, two things, or maybe just one thing. Uh, I've actually had to have a pretty sore throat right now, so apologies if some things don't come through clear. Uh, not sick, but just over talking and stuff lately. So uh, before we dive into a uh, random battle, uh, you can see I have the typical old flimsy problem of not having enough credits. Um, but when we unlock access to inventory, we'll be able to sell some things like these old hulls uh, that will give us more credits that we can use towards upgrading our ships. Uh, so on and so forth. I don't have, if you, uh, you can acquire a nine, 10 point commander for 900,000 credits, but we don't have 900,000 credits. So right now I just have last stand. If I had a 10 point, uh, captain build, um, it would be, this would be my build. And I just realized I said 900,000 credits for a 10 point commander. It's 900,000 credits for a six point commander. So, uh, be starting off with that. So that'd be the build I would run with the six point commander. Uh, exterior wise, because we're in a randoms battle, uh, we're gonna throw on some uh, signals here. Um, these two will increase our fire chance. This one is reload time of ship consumables. Uh, fire extinction time will increase. No chance of detonating uh, a ram flag because you never know. Uh, we'll mount all of these. They don't cost you doubloons if you have them. If you have zero, it costs you eight to mount, so you can watch after I mount them all. Stays the same. Uh, I was under wrong impressions until recently, so we'll get more credits, free XP, commander XP, uh, experience, uh, cost of the ship's post-battle service will be cheaper, and credits per battle. So uh, if you use these, I typically just recommend using it um, in random battle where you're playing versus players. Uh, you can use in co-op, but you'll get more rewards out of it. Uh, using it in a player versus player format. Um, and then we're going to run uh, exterior camouflage and we're going to run this one uh, because we get more perks with it in addition to it making us more stealthy. So so we're going to dive into battle. You may be hearing a coffee maker in the background. Uh, I've been waiting all day to record this video because they're doing some construction behind our apartments, uh, being a jackhammer mounted on an excavator. And then we are hosting some people over tonight, and so uh, we're I gotta start cooking some food after getting done recording this video. And also a very typical Norwegian thing is uh, international things have coffee in the evening. So <laughs> coffee percolating in the background. Looking at the lineup here, you can see we have is it one human player? Yeah, two human players per team. Uh, the rest are all bots. Again, noted by the notated by the double colon uh, before and after the name. So, so uh, as traditional, <laughs> and we're in tier four too. That's that's a shame. So I know I haven't played a cruiser lately. I've had some battleship and destroyer matches. So I figured we'd switch to the tier four uh, American cruiser, the Phoenix. It's pretty fun for tier four. Um, next ship after this is the Omaha. And then after Omaha, you don't get torpedoes anymore. So you get these 5.5 kilometer torpedoes. Your load time is 66 seconds. So uh, what is typical of the American cruisers is I kind of look to see the lineup here. Yeah, let's go left. Um, is that you, you really, you want to be using islands. It's kind of hard on this map. Uh, this map, we're on a ring standard battle. So basically either you win by uh, capping the enemy base uh, or delete destroying all enemy ships or getting to a thousand points first um, and the same for the enemy uh, against us so usually when you're dealing with a lot of bots um, they just tend to come for the base uh, we're going to turn out because um, we're detected uh, they typically kind of make a straight line towards the base I and mean, you can see all of our bots going in I'm turning out because I'm detected. Uh, tier 4, Tier 5 cruisers have really poor uh, armor. You're basically a floating citadel. I might switch this guy. 
So we're going to angle away if we need to. Looks like we got incapacitation there. Presenting a smaller target to these guys back here. Just see what the human players are. And then white mouse click. Okay, there's one human player there. I get this free look while my armament stays uh, viewing this position. So you really want to deal with the bot uh, destroyers first because they just kind of rush your friendlies uh, bots and just dump a bunch of torpedoes into them. Another thing we get for the Phoenix is we get hydroacoustic search. It'll detect torpedoes up to three kilometers away. Detect enemy ships like let's say they're in a smoke screen about an island uh, four kilometers away. So I don't really need to use that right now because I don't feel concerned about it. Uh, one more salvo. Because one wave of torpedoes here, one there. Ah, uh, didn't get it. So I keep looking over my shoulder because I want to see what's going on behind me. So we're going to focus on this Kohlberg. And one thing too, um, as I'm reversing here, as a bot gets a devastating strike, is uh, if enemy, enemy ships push through here, I can use my torpedoes and move away. So I kind of have a more secure, safe position backing into this island. Okay, he goes down. So the lines are holding up pretty well thus far. Let me try to get more of the superstructure. So we have HE, high explosive, and armor piercing. Uh, don't really want to use armor piercing because we don't have a good broadside angle on any enemy cruiser yet, so... The HE is pretty decent. So keep leading him a little bit. That's a pretty good hit. He's on fire now. So that was by someone else's doings. Let's see if we can finish him here. No, not quite. He's going to go down. Okay, so let's see here. We got... One other thing you can do is you can just lock on. I'm pressing X, seeing where these guys are going. And this shows me the line, of course, they're taking. So I'm just trying to see. They're staying outside. I think what we'll do is we'll just try to see if we can get some fires on the South Carolina. They've not moved up far enough for me to really deal with over there yet. As uh... Okay, so they... The human player took out the bot player, and the bot tip player took out the human player. Because South Carolina uh, AP, they just fired, would be pretty devastating to us. Uh, so that's why we are using the corner of this island. Uh, I often will talk about using islands a lot, especially when you're in a cruiser. So we're staying dark here. He's too far away to detect this. You can see this ring. Because our gun bloom only goes out to that far. So I just made a South Carolina DCP. And we're going to switch to armor piercing for this uh, Italian cruiser here who just grounded himself. <laughs> so it's back, to, back to armor piercing as a bot torpedoes me. I won't do any damage to me, but the bot will be given a warning. Not that that actually means anything. Okay, that is a perma fire because that bot blew his DCP on that first fire we set. So um, it's helpful to kind of chip him down some more until because uh, the battleship's having the most uh, largest health pool. Now I am concerned about ships behind me. If I had a spotter plane or fighter plane, I think you get a fighter plane on Omaha. I would probably pop it to see what's going on behind here, but I'm keeping in mind that my allies here kind of have a line of view in here so they can see what's going on. All right, we're gonna accelerate just a little bit. Now, since I don't have priority target, I'm keeping an eye on which direction his guns are facing. So they were never looking at me. So he kind of got deleted there. Saw Citadel explosion. So we're going to move up here and we're going to switch our guns to uh, our port side. It's the left side. And uh, focus on this Kohlberg bot who's sitting back here in the channel. Keeping in mind that there is a destroyer somewhere over here. And I'm pretty sure he's the one detecting us. 
I could do armor piercing here. I don't know. Not, not sure if he's showing enough angle. Or too much angle, that's what I want to say. Okay, yeah. He's detecting us. His torpedo range isn't long enough to be a threat, but we're going to focus on getting this spot gone. So we're going to accelerate. And we're going to focus on the destroyers after we get rid of him. Or if we're able to before he goes behind the island. So that's also why I'm accelerating so I can keep the line of fire on him. Yeah, he's, re -ac he's accelerating forward now? No, he's sitting still. I'm also keeping in mind of this bot battleship. We got these islands between us, so I don't have to worry about him shooting me. A little higher. So we'll slow down again. Now I would use like quick commands to like call out shooting him, but uh, it's just bots. We lost our other human player, so it's kind of pointless because. Bots won't focus on that. Okay, come on. He's reversing again. So hopefully this is a halfway decent battle. I mean, it would have been more exciting if we had more human players, but, you know, it is what it is. Ah, we lost our other kill. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and engage uh, this bot here, and then I'm going to pop Hydroacoustic Search here in just a moment. Might even throw some torpedoes at him just because... Because our torpedoes are that 5-5. Uh, five, five. Yeah, why not? This is my gun bloom. Detectability range by sea, by air. Firing main guns in smoke, 6.6. .6. That's why he could still see us. Not necessarily the position I'd want to be in. We're actually going to turn out away from this spot now because we don't necessarily want to close the distance because that means he's more likely to land the torpedoes on us. When we turn away, we're going to present the smallest target as possible. So if he did launch any off there, uh, we have a better chance of dodging and we're also sailing away, uh, giving us even more time to avoid them. But he didn't get any off because I think Hydro Q6 Search would have picked that up. So we mostly just focus on defending the cap and impeding the enemy team's progression. Even though this is random battles at tier 4 in the evening on the EU server. Uh, is that bot ever going to come up? I'm actually going to fire my guns off here. And the reason why I fired my guns off is because I was curious if he was coming out this way. Since he's not in the cap, it means he must be somewhere over here. I was just trying to get some intelligence. If you're dealing with human players, I don't necessarily recommend doing that. But, I mean, you can if you feel confident. And, uh, not a big deal. So I've already made the pre-decision after I dealt with that destroyer that I was going to move up along here because I wanted to go wide and see about spotting this cruiser that I have no idea where he is. Um, so if he did come up over here, I could engage him. Uh, and we can also use this island here to fire over. So we're just getting past this high peak. Oh, he's grounded himself. That's why he's been sitting there. So we get to farm damage for free uh, without exposing ourselves. Which is the true uh, American cruiser experience. <laughs> uh, when you're a light cruiser, uh, like the Phoenix. Uh, being able to utilize the islands, protecting your health pool. Because it only takes like one uh, good dispersion salvo, AP salvo, from an uh, enemy battleship to wreck your day. I can see his turrets are looking that way too. So I'm going to kind of go out around to the right and keep out of the gun turret and if he's just stuck there my what i'm thinking is we're gonna just run up on him and dump torpedoes into him 
Now he did DCP our fire. And he's a French battleship. I think he's a French. So he's got this turret here, there, there. So he's focusing on us now, so we're gonna turn in. Help uh, avoid that. So that's why utilizing this island should uh, help keep that one turret from being able to have a visual on me. I know our bot might cap their base before we can kill him. <laughs> I was kind of wanted to go, if we had the time, go all around the island and uh, dump torpedoes into him. But at this rate, our bot is going to cap their base. Okay, so that's... Okay, so this would be a little bit of a brash move. And we can't dump our torpedoes because we have this in the way here. But we did get a nice confederate. So he's definitely going to be looking back at us. Like I said, if it wasn't for the time about to run out, we would just... Uh, Go around the back side of the island. But let's see if those are land before he caps. Okay, two. I mean, I didn't really have the time to go out wide and then dump them into the side, which had been the smarter move, and that's what I would have done. But again, time was about to end. So, we we'll must get task 10 done. All right, so we got 69,000 damage, 100,000 credits, 3,000... 30 experience, 684 free XP, along with a nice confederate heroic achievement. So when you damage six or more enemy ships, damage caused to each ship must exceed 20% of her normal HP. So uh, you get this in random or ranked battles. So even though we got one kill, uh, we still did pretty decent uh, for tier four, uh, getting just over a thousand base experience is what this is. So I was wondering where the other human player, where he landed at. And you see damage there. And then when I exit out of here, um, you're going to see how much uh, we did. Now, if you're, I'm a main NA server player, so I run premium account on my NA account. Uh, I don't do it on the EU account because I'm not on here every day, so I don't feel like I get my money's worth out. But you can see the difference there of what we were to gain. So, I mean, if you're playing, uh, you know, your main server account, if you even if you're only on one server, and you play, you know, at least every other day, then it's probably worth it. Uh, you'll get more credits on top of uh, more experience, and you can see how we used uh, the commander experience uh, with those flags we earned. We got some bonuses, so we got more things. Otherwise, we wouldn't have broke a thousand experience there, probably, or maybe just barely over. Consumables and other types of in-game items. You are just a few battles away from unlocking the next access level. It says a few battles. Let's see how uh, many battles is just a few battles. So they actually gave us uh, 24 hours premium uh, for reward for 65 battles and Hydra. So some good special flags there. Um, we'll look at that in just a moment so we'll go ahead and collect this reward that's really nice because this is the base uh, run to run through uh, so with premium you can do three of these tasks but without premium you can only do two so we'll take the first few there but even if your premium account runs out the third one that you already started will still be there so access level so inventory management, and I'll show you how you can uh, get access where the inventory management is at. Yeah, 65 battles, and then we unlock ranked battles. But this is what I was really wanting. So you get to inventory by clicking on your name up here, and then inventory, you can see the new, so you should have a new icon when you unlock it. And then um, this is everything, all. So you can, you'll see signals here, camouflages, uh, modifications, hauls, um, the works. Usually it's always modules is where I'm clicking to, to sell things. So uh, we have hall C on the Phoenix. So we're gonna sell hall A and hall B. And then we get these credits back into our pocket that we can use to invest in other resources. 
that's the stock module cell cell so i mean you saw we just i think it was just over was 182,000 uh creds credits that we had beforehand and you know now we're already over half million so now we don't want any of the, these particular stock modules and it starts off what's highest and then goes to lowest so and we'll uh, wrap this video up so we get rid of all those because we don't need them and now I can go in here and I can throw in the engine room protection because uh, if you're a cruiser and your engine gets knocked out at this low tier uh, yeah, you're not too good a shape so yeah so um, we'll continue on uh, with this uh, new new player guide series. Um, now it's going to take a while before we get to the next uh, access level, um, 65 battles from now. So probably be grinding some of that. I will be doing some of that in ranked, or not ranked, random battles, um, and then co-op just to burn through. Uh, but really, really nice when we get to this tier 5, tier 6 ships and we can start getting uh, the daily combat missions done. So... Uh, which is daily trial is what it's called and then you get these perks but you got to play tier five or higher unfortunately so so if you liked today's video give it a thumbs up if you did not give it a thumbs down subscribe if you do want to see more if you are subscribed thanks i really appreciate it uh, if you haven't caught the giveaway uh, we're doing right now as of this week end of november uh, make sure that you catch that video on the channel for a chance to win some uh, pretty good stuff so until next time take care